Alrighty, welcome back everyone. It's April 20th. Today we've got the CrossFit fundraiser workout number three. I'm Coach Matt. Coach Katie. Before we get into the details of today's four time workout, Coach Katie's going to warm us up. Alright, for our warm up today, Coach Matt is going to lead you through the movements. The first movement to get that blood flowing is going to be 10 burpees. Just nice and easy, standing all the way up for 10 burpees. Once you get through 10 burpees, you're going to go three times through four different movements. The first movement is going to be a good morning. So if you have an object, feel free to pick it up, um, hold it at your chest. You're going to hinge at the hips, feeling that nice stretch throughout your hamstrings, keeping those shoulders pinched back and down. Once you do 10 good mornings, you're going to find your object you can step up on. You're going to do five lateral step ups, trying to get that knee in line with the toe. Each time you step up, five on one side, five on the other. After your five each side lateral step ups, you're gonna go into 10 air squats. You can start out real nice and slow, warming up those legs, and then you can pick up the pace a little bit towards that 10th squat. Your last movement is gonna be five each arm seated presses. So you're gonna get a nice L sit position and you're gonna drive that dumbbell overhead. Five on one side, and then you'll switch and five on the other. Once you finish your seated presses, you're gonna go through those four movements two more times. Then you're ready to start the workout. Okay guys, so like you said, the CrossFit fundraiser workout number three is four times, it is 50 dumbbell deadlifts, 50 ab mat sit-ups, 50 body weight box step-ups, and 50 single arm dumbbell thrusters. There is a 20 minute time cap, but I have a feeling the majority of you will be well under that. So, starting with the dumbbell deadlifts, we're going to be using two dumbbells, one on the outside of each foot. So, uh, ideally, depending on your typical deadlift stance, you may be a little bit more narrow in your footing today than normal, but all the rest of the same uh, principles will apply for a good deadlift. So, Katie, we'll start with dumbbell on each head, and shoot the each hand. She only needs to touch one head of the dumbbell to the ground, she'll hinge back. Keeping the dumbbells tight to her hips, just outside her shoulders, tap and go. Alright, you'll notice she's keeping her upper back engaged, she's not reaching forward with the dumbbells as she approaches the ground. One key we want to look at today, guys, is making sure that when we do these dumbbell deadlifts, that we hinge with the back in the same manner that we would deadlift. So that means these shoulders and hips are going to drop together. Now, I've been covered before, when you do dumbbell deadlifting, your hips have to drop lower to the ground. You do have to squat a bit more than feels normal compared to the deadlift with the bar and the 10-inch plates. <clears throat> so, what we want to avoid, especially those of you who fancy yourselves being very fit and you want to go fast and furious and get a great score, you're typically the first people to break this form, just and you blow up your low back a little bit. And that's that table topping where you just bend over and stand back up. Doesn't always mean you super round your back, but you do just bend over at the hip. You don't really hinge properly. Um, so just keep that in mind as you're going through so you can practice good fundamental form that'll transfer into other movements later on, whether it be your cleans and snatches or barbell deadlifts. Okay, so moving on to the ab mat sit up. Key points of performance here, guys. Remember, always keeping the palms of our feet driven tight together as we sit up through the motion. It's going to engage your core just a little bit more. You'll lay on back, touch the ground behind your head, and then sit up to a nice tall stack position. So we're really upright, active through the core. You'll notice Katie's shoulders slightly past her hips, and even more and more than where her shoulders are relative to her hips, because her core is nice and stacked. She's got flat spine, active abs throughout the motion. Good. So guys, remember the MS sit ups one. It's easy to do well, it's easy to do poorly. Let's make sure we're doing it well. The box step up with body, body weight box step up. So we're going to be going one foot at a time, alternating. So Katie wants to step up. Make sure her full foot is on the box. Step all the way up, full extension of the hip, and then place the foot on. Step back down, and then back. So alternating feet. For those of you who might typically go a certain height on a box, when you have dumbbells in hand or on the shoulder or whatnot, you might want to try to be a little higher on the box today because you only have to use your body weight. But regardless, that's up to you. So when we're looking at Katie's box step up, one of the things we want to make sure we're doing well is stepping all the way to full extension. So she doesn't have 
doesn't have to bring her second foot onto the box until she's already stood all the way up. One of the things we tend to see is when people step up, they short it, and they're just trying to get that other foot on the box as fast as possible. Especially when we're tired and we're holding the dumbbell or barbell or whatever we've been holding at our hips to get up there. It's understandable, it's not really the best technique. So especially today with only our body weight, let's make sure every step is full extension, glutes active, standing tall on top of the box before we bring that other foot on. Alrighty then. So final movement, single arm dumbbell thruster. When we bring the dumbbell up to the shoulder, remember, we don't need to bring that dumbbell up behind our back or stack it out in a funny way. We want to just hold it in an active uh, front rack position, elbow in front. In the same manner that if you had, you can just easily strip press it up in our head or whatever. Um, so from there, once you have that dumbbell in our place, it's going to be a full front squat, weight in the heels, chest high, drive up through the hips, finish with the arm. Avoid that early press. The hips are the engine, the arms simply steer. When we finish out overhead, guys, remember biceps, ears, active shoulder, press that thing tight to the ceiling. We don't want to just be pumping it out to the side and coming back down as fast as possible. Finish with a strong locked out position, bring it to the back to the shoulder, followed by the next front squat. All right, we'll be back here for some strategy. We'll go through each one of these movements, warming it up, getting a feel for what you want to use as height as, as far as weight, and uh, we'll be back here soon. Okay, so as far as strategy for this workout goes, we have 200 total repetitions. Now, for some of you who are fairly fit and can do all these movements very easily, I say go for it. You know, big sets, fast and furious, as long as you're keeping good form. For those of you who may be good at some movements and not as good at others, you know, go hard for the movements you can keep good form at and you can do large sets at without burning yourself out. And then if there's a couple movements, like the step ups I know for me or similar, you know, Break it up into chunks that are digestible that give you short rest periods that allow you to keep moving as much as possible without taking long breaks with your hands on your knees, uh, et cetera, et cetera, as far as resting. For those step ups and thrusters, you don't have to alternate um, reps every single time. So break it up how you feel is going to work best for you. All right, guys. Well, this is the third Fun Ride Razor workout. So this will be the final one. Thank you for supporting our. Uh, box and everyone who's contributed, plus it's just been fun doing the workouts with you. Good luck on this last one, have fun, and we'll see you soon.